So I've just fitted one of my, um, the first bulwark. Um, this is, I believe, on the stern side. And um, yeah, so what I just done is I just used my Gorilla wood glue. As you can see on this side here, we've got this slight little edge. I still need to cut the other side out. As you can see, it's on here, but it, it has to be cut out with the X-Acto knife. So I'll get to that. Um, but we basically got here yeah, at the back of the whole section, we've got this edge going around all the way. And that is where it slots in. So I just put a little bit of glue in there. And then I use my nail punch. Trust the old little damn thing this. And I'm so glad I got it. And I just nail through this wooden piece. Yeah, at the top there you can see the nail is protruding there. And that's just to keep it into position. So I'm going to quickly crack on with the other side. And... Uh, then we'll have to move on to trim the housings for the stern and the stern post and then we need to fix them in place. Um, we need to cut the excess of the stern post and then glue on the keel. They all in bags like this. So here's some of the keel sections that we need to paste on and they just basically go at the back here and at the front there. But uh, first let me just get the other bulwark on and then we'll get cracking with stick number six. So guys, welcome back to my channel. This is uh, Rattling Ghost. On one of my previous videos, I had a comment that was asking me how did I score these lines in here. So I ended up just using one of the, the knives, the hobby knives that I've got. Mine that I used had a square blade section, which broke now, but that's fine. I'm not going to use it again. And I just scored it. I scored it quite deep right until I felt I was on the the platform itself it doesn't come up quite as nicely and I know he said as well that you can't see it quite as nicely mine you do see quite up quite close up you do see it in an excellent light so what I also did after following my last is I completed the bulwark and this bulwark here needs to be sanded down till it reaches this end of the stern side that side and uh, I've also completed the planking section on the starboard and the port side of the boat. And I think it came out looking quite nice. There is some gaps there, but we're going to close that up a little bit later. And then I've also started to add what they call basically the, the stem at the front of the ship here. And then we also need to add the keel section it's just one plank like this in your uh, in your box that you get and i've already cut the edge here so that it can fit nicely onto the stem that side there and that's going to sit basically just like that and then this stem and keel section also needed to be rounded off at a certain point now I know you guys are some of you are screaming at me because you will say that this is too low down or too high up from the, the stern section itself, but they want us to add some of these parts and uh, that's just the, um, some of the planking, um, what do they call it? The stern and bulwark planking. So that's going to basically start at that side and as you can see I made a small indentation here just so I can fit it around the stem that side. I can show it on camera there. So it will fit in there and then it will eventually be flush at the top there. And then we're going to follow this bulwark 
and I'm basically going to stop mine somewhere about there so it's going to sit over the plank and you're not going to be able to see it just to get it in line with the stern at the back also another thing that they want us to add is this section here I just want to get to that step but that's quite a couple of steps onwards um, that's the rudder blade and the rudder blade is basically going to stick in here at the back and then we're going to tie that with some nice metal parts that they sent through in the box as well but that will get you in a later stage so as for the question that came up you can score it with a handy knife just score it quite deep for the I don't know how good is it going to show up on camera for all the holes that I put in there that I just use one of the, the um, just like normal um, pin and I just stuck that in that's just to I think emulate all the nails that go into the boat so the best ways and I think by the end of the video we're gonna see it up quite nicely is um, I'm gonna start in this video by just finishing off this bulwark section here get it closed down I'm gonna start fitting the the sides here and then here at the back as well of the stern and then I've took one of the planks that I've got here that I'm not going to use and I started to test so you can see this like a reddish color on this one and for that one I just use just normal teak oil and this is actually for dark wood so I'm going to use this on the port and the starboard side planking and uh, I think it's just going to make it pop and uh, it will preserve the wood and uh, there will also be a nice shine to it when we're done with it so what I did was I started off and I put it on here I don't quite like this color because it's like a reddish color so and then over this just to make it a little bit darker I used Humbrol and this is number 110 it's the matte one show it up quite nicely there so this is paint from Humble, it's enamel paint and uh, this they call natural wood for all of you guys out there that do want to use something like that so I painted over the teak oil and it came out quite dark um, and I don't think I want it that dark when you just paint the natural wood Humble paint just without putting any teak oil you get this nice natural wood color and I think that's the one that I'm going to use so I think when I do paint this and it is painted up fully then you're going to see the score lines and you're going to see the holes where the supposed rivets or whatever goes into so um, let me quickly send the other side of the bulwark off I'm going to start painting. I'll probably do all of this in time lapse. So I hope you guys enjoy this quick up upload. And uh, we'll basically be finished up to stage number five. So this is just a quick update on the paint. As you all know, I used the natural wood. I applied it sparingly, not too much. But now all the score lines and... Also the pinholes that I put in here comes up looking quite nice. Um, that is just with all the paint going into the, the score marks that you made there. So I recommend for that comment that I got, do your scoring and then afterwards either use a paint that I'm using or you can use just a normal varnish or something that you've got around your house i don't know with this lockdown period what you guys have got and what you haven't got but that's what i opted for and i must admit i'm quite excited it looks much more natural than just the normal white strips that we got you can see the difference between the two so i'm quite happy about how it turned out so let's get onwards and let's carry on with the board
Okay guys, so welcome to the end of the video. So we did the stem and we also did the keel at the bottom there. We did the boob walks, the planking all around and uh, as you can see it turned out looking quite amazing. I ended up using approximately about three and a half of the strips all around at the front there we've got a nice sharp edge now where we didn't have it in the past and then also on the other side of the boat port side and the starboard side and then at the back at the stern sorry about the camera i'm holding it in my hand so we also added also some of the stern planking or some of the bulwark planking in there and uh I'm quite happy about how it turned out so I hope that uh, comment in my previous video or one of my previous videos I hope you will see what I did with my planking on the deck itself how I tainted it or painted it and uh, yeah so guys this is stage 5 complete and uh, I'll see you soon in the next one this is Rattling Ghost saying cheers